mini games. They come in all shapes and sizes, providing huge upgrades, a variety of resources and endless ways to train your stats. But how far can you really get? Welcome to our minigame group Iron Men. We are starting out this episode getting ourselves a player owned house now that we can afford one. Officially unlocking the construction skill for the account. This also unlocks another teleport as we can use the teleporter house to get to Remington or wherever we relocate our house. Before we head to Winstot, we also need to complete the Georgic Ritual quest to unlock Herblore. Unfortunately, there is no method via a minigame to obtain the meats for the quest, so we are simply going to have to kill the monsters. And quests completed, we have unlocked the skill of Herblore, and that gives us three Herblore, so that's some more total levels. And we can now go to Winstod. Some of you may have guessed what my intentions are, but you're about to find out. Right then, explanation time. We can't actually do Winstod games because we don't have anywhere near enough food. But that doesn't mean we can't get ourselves some nice construction and herb lore experience. The method is going to be have a hammer to fix the braziers when they break and collect enough herbs to fill an inventory but one. Then we can go back to the safe zone and make potions without taking any damage. The XP isn't great, it's 10% of your current level, so we get 0.3 XP per potion, but this is our only available herb lore method at the moment. The goal is at least 10 herb lore to complete another requirement for the dig site quest. Oh, and we also get the occasional farming XP drop. Nice. Okay, we take a lot of damage and we also die going great so change of plans we find ourselves at guardians of the rift again we really need some warm clothing because as you just saw it is not going to work without and the ring that you can buy here the ring of elements class is classed as a warm item but it costs 400 pearls we currently have 180 in the bank so that is an option and also the abyssal lantern also counts as a warm item so those are two possibilities so we are going to try and see if we can get either of those we can also do some star mining and try for a staff of fire that is also a warm item we could possibly get we do have one warm item which is the demon feet that mini game boy got last episode but unfortunately that is it I will see you with some rewards. We took a break from Guardians of the Rift and once again Minigame Boy got a clue scroll. However, he needed an Iron Fall Helm which has a 22 smithing requirement. This time he won't be using Toggle for ores but instead he'll be using pest control points for mineral packs then superheating the ores. Thankfully, after all the grinding, he manages to complete the clue, but didn't get any useful pieces. Hey, two more collection log pieces. That was a really long mime show. I did like 10 emotes. While we are here, I finally completed my own clue. Oh, a unique. Finally, and the magic amulet is best in slot for a while. Almost got a whole outfit right here. For a second, I thought that was an iron full helm that Minigame Boy just grinded out. That would have been kind of funny. While we get back to mining, another beginner clue casket. Come on, fire staff or boots? Well, that's pretty shit. On to the next. And the next is a steel battle axe. That's uh trash well we are here at this little guy as i realized i have enough stardust now to buy the celestial ring i actually forgot i can buy things with the dust i'm so used to playing on the free to play star miner and not having access to the shop if you haven't seen that series i'll link it above and there you go that is a nice invisible plus four boost to mining which will help with mining more stars and at Guardians of the Rift, especially while we are stuck with the bronze pickaxe. I am also going to buy a soft clay pack as we still need soft clay for the Prince Alley rescue quest. So that marks off one more item off the list. If only this was classed as a warm item. The hunt for those continues. This time we got ourselves just over 100 points each so that even if we don't manage to pull a lantern as a warm item, we should still have enough to afford the ring with the pearls. 
We didn't get lucky at all with clue scrolls, so I still need to get myself some beginner clue boots. Okay, well that's no lantern and I also do not have enough pearls. But I'm going to bury these ashes. We're going to get six prayer and then we're going to open up these intricate pouches and I am going to get a genie lamp. Okay, I was going to say pure essence. Any pure essence? No, no. Okay, we got a genie lamp. Can I put this on anything? How much XP does it give us? Hang on, I need to look this up. Okay, so according to the wiki, I get 10 times XP of the level. So if I put this on Hunter, I should get 120 Hunter experience, which gets me to 13 Hunter. That was a nice surprise. Unfortunately, no pure essence. And we also still do not have enough pearls for a ring because the ring costs 400 pearls so i guess it'll probably be worthwhile doing a couple more games so we can guarantee a warm item and then we are also going to have to go back to star mining to get some warm items from clue scrolls this herbal training has definitely been delayed well, I just recorded the whole thing on the wrong screen. Professional, I know. But me and Mini Game Boy finally got enough pearls and brought ourselves the Rings of Elements. And I opened up two beginner clue scrolls, which I'll put up on screen now. And we still did not get any more warm items. So back to the beginner clue scrolls to get ourselves a fire staff and some boots. Nope. Hey, I got an iron pickaxe. That is an upgrade at least. Oh, Mini Game Boy one-upped me and got himself a steel pickaxe. And a nice magic amulet for himself too. Straight into our first staff. Not a fire staff, but still super useful. Mini Game Boy sure has the clue scroll RNG. What was I just saying? Now he goes and gets a black axe. I oh, will get us something soon, I swear. And Mini Game Boy just got himself 15 fishing, which means he can now do fishing trawler without me. Seeing as I still have 10 fishing, I will be staying at Stars to get myself those beginner clue boots and maybe a fire staff. They aren't needed so much now because Mini Game Boy will be off to trawler to finally get us some food. His first attempt at soloing fishing trawler was easier than expected. It's pretty high intensity, having to fill the holes, fixing the net killing the kraken, fixing barriers and bailing, but you do get a small amount of crafting, construction and wood getting XP. The construction XP is especially nice for the early levels. He completed the first game and went and got himself 1kc angler boots. Of course he did. He loves his 1kc drops, as well as some nice starter food. I'm pretty jealous right now being stuck at 10 fishing mining stars. I guess this is payback for me getting 10 rune crafting while he was stuck at Brimhaven. Hey, my first beginner clue unique. Gothic's ornament kit. Pity isn't some boots. And an air staff. If only that was a fire staff. Would have been a perfect casket. Nothing. We got ourselves a book of knowledge, which means 14 hunter. Only three more to go. Nothing again. Ew. Even worse. This is the spot Mini Game Boy got his demon feet. Can we get something too? Oh my god, we get demon feet as well. This must be our lucky spot. Two more items down, just a fire staff to go. Casket in our lucky spot again? Oh, I guess it isn't 100%. Mini Game Boy has been grinding out fishing trawler for food, but we have discovered it is pretty expensive because of the swamp paste. So the amount of games he can do at the moment is going to be limited. He did manage to pull himself a second angler piece at 8kc, which is awesome. I have been assigned to cook all of his fish for XP, because he will be able to gain cooking experience soon at Temporos at 35 fishing, whereas I am still stuck at 10 fishing. Hopefully I don't get stuck not having enough fish, but first, here I am ploughing some fields. 100% Hasidious favour is required to unlock Tithe Farm, but it also gives me access to the Hasidious Kitchen, which gives a 5% increased chance of not burning, which will definitely be needed. So here I shall be until 100% favour. Oh shit, I also get 10 farming XP drops, even better. Hey, two farming already. We are only 3.8% of the way in. We should get some nice levels from this. 10 trawlers later and Mini Game Boy gets himself the third piece of the angler outfit and goes on and finishes the full set in 25kc. But he didn't stop there. He got himself to the 35 fishing required for Temporos and finished off another entire angler set. These are his final stats from the trawler grind. Pretty jealous of those levels. 
but while he has been doing all that fun content, six hours later and I have finished ploughing fields. Yay! I managed to get to 13 farming, so wasn't a completely useless six hours, but now with that completed we have access to the 5% cooking boost. We decided to complete Gertrude's cap before any cooking for the 1525 cooking XP reward and to complete another pre-quest for the rat pits and pyramid plunder. So now I can cook the fishing trawler haul and hopefully not burn too much. Mini Game Boy only goes and gets himself another pickaxe upgrade, the black pickaxe. That's pretty rare, but we'll take it. Mining with low tier pickaxes sucks. And another air staff and a magic hat. Such a nice clue scroll. And cooking done. Honestly, I burnt less than I expected, so we got a nice 30 cooking from that, which is kind of perfect, as we'll be getting tuna from Temporos. Now that is done, there is still the small issue of the third warm item for Winter Todd. So back to good old clue scrolls. Mini Game Boy got an elite clue scroll from mining, which is pretty rare. He managed to save spot the Banos Guardian, just about, but got stuck on the third step for the time being. Did you know that you can join my channel and get shout outs at the end of my videos? If you have any ideas of what you would like to be offered to channel members, let me know in the comments below. And back to the pretty useless beginner clue casket. Really? A water staff? We've now had every staff apart from fire. This has got to be so unlucky. Never mind. My partner clearly has a way with clue scrolls and pulls the first fire staff on a single clue roll. One down, one to go. A rare easy casket coming in for... Oh! Black skirt G. Nice fashion scape into back-to-back -back collection log slots. Nothing useful though. Never mind that. Back three backlog slots and some nice prayer bonus legs. Of course, Mini Game Boy then goes and one-ups me with a golden chef's hat. That fashion scape though would have been great for the clue scroll step if we could get the red cape. And clue scroll grind over. That is the second fire staff acquired. I really did try. Clue scrolls just don't like giving me what I want. I thought you would like to see the Stardust stack. I gathered 30,000 and finished on 67 mining, while Mini Game Boy acquired 30,000 dust and also reached 67 mining. I also have this book of knowledge I kept forgetting to use. So here we go, 15 Hunter. Slowly getting there, anyways. We finally could have three warm items each for Winter Todd. We realised that the Jungle Potion quest gives 775 XP in Herb Lore, so it would be beneficial to do that before heading back to Winter Todd. It is a pre-quest for the Taiba 1-0 cleanup minigame. So let's head over and get that sweet herb lore XP. One, two, three, four, four and a half. Come on, I've been picking at this bloody wall for four minutes. And five, finally. Let's get out of here. And quest completed. A nice 775 herb lore experience. And we are now eight quest points out of the 32 needed for champions challenges. That got us to nine herb lore. Great start. Now finally... Back to Winter Todd. Here we go again. The strategy has changed. We're going to try and lower the Winter Todd's health down to less than 10% so it hits us less and can hopefully train for longer. Now that we are 9 Herb Lore, we should get 0.9 XP per potion, so almost 1 XP per. Let's go. Light all of the fires, then stand in the safe zone until something needs relighting. As you can see, it's hitting a fair bit at the moment. Oh, getting 1 XP in farming per pick now as well. So many gains. It's slowly hitting less often. Looks like I'm getting 1 XP per potion, so that's nice. This is definitely going better this time. This is pretty much the method we are going to be rolling with until 15 Herb Lore. Oh, and my first construction XP. Winter Todd is amazing. Hey, we got enough points to be eligible for a reward. So if we manage to finish off this game at the end, we can get ourselves a crate. And 10 Herb Lore. Another dig site requirement knocked out. I need to log out, so let's finish off this game and see what rewards we can get. Hey, nice. First Winter Todd KC and 51 fire making. Time to loot our first crates. Drumroll please. Toe flax, earrets and a diamond. Oh, and some coins. Decent. Mini Game Boy had more points than me, getting himself burnt pages for a nice log slot. We will try and finish off games periodically to get pyromancer pieces and of course supplies. A 14 farming, we can now plant marantils. These constant 1 and 2 XP drops really do add up. Another game done, and another crate for us both. Few herbs, logs, coins, not too bad. And for Mini Game Boy, a nice acorn for some extra farming XP, and some nice mithril ore. Yes, to construction. 
My XP here is pretty bad starting from 1, but I have no other option. At least I should get a couple of levels. My turn for a nice log slot, burnt pages. While Minigame Boy is getting all of the logs and farming supplies. This time we have two crates each to open. Unfortunately we disconnected mid game. We tried to save it but ended up running out of food. Hmm, more logs, coins and seeds. Everything is useful and I forgot my second crate. Nothing happened. More of the same. And 15 herbal ore. We decided to do one big point game for the last two levels for some juicy loot rolls. Should be a really nice crate. We got 5.7k points so there should be 11 to 12 loots. Yes, a brimmer torch. Such a nice item. Light source, warm item and saves an inventory space. Plus some more nice herbs. Unfortunately, no more warm items for mini game boy. I am going to end this episode here. These are our ending stats. Starting to look more unique from each other. Especially with mini game boy speeding ahead with vision trawler. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this new series. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.